Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another rugby video. Today we're going to be checking out Damien Pano. Pano? Yeah, Pano, I think is how you say it, Pano. Um, yeah, I, I did an Antoine Dupont video uh, a few days ago, and one of you guys mentioned that Pano is like one of the best wingers in the game, plays on the same place, place for France, along with uh, Dupont. And I think someone compared him to Colby, is what the comment said. Um, so that, that's obviously, that's a crazy comparison, if he's even close to that good. So, really excited to check him out, see what he's all about. Um, yeah, uh, for those of you who are new here or haven't seen one of my uh, player reaction videos recently, um, I usually hop on Wikipedia first and do a little, go over their, their stats and like just take a look at them overall and see what they're all about. Um, and then we hop on the highlights afterwards. So if you, if you don't want to watch that, you can just skip ahead. I got the time code set up for you there. Um, but yeah, so let's, yeah, let's just hop into it. Um, if you enjoy the video, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts on the player, thoughts on stuff to check out in the future, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, I do have a discord in the description if you want to join that. It's, it's not really too active yet on the rugby side of my channel, but, um, yeah, hop in there if you want to talk, talk rugby. All right, let's hop into this. All right, Damien Pano. I'm, assu I'm, I'm assuming I say say it, Pano, Pano. Might need more of a French accent to get that to get that right, but that sounds right to me. I don't know. I know a little bit of French. Um, okay, Damien Pino, born September twenty fifth, nineteen ninety six. So he's twenty seven. French rugby player plays wing for top fourteen club Bordeaux, Belgues, Belgues, Belgies, Belgues, something like that, and the French national team. Um, he's six foot four, two hundred nine. Okay, he's he's a big winger. Okay. Yeah, I noticed there's, it seems wingers are either really big or really small, so he's, he's on the bigger side. Um, he's from Brive la Gaillarde, Gaillarde? I don't know, I don't know, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a hard one for me. Um, his father is Alan Pano, who is a, he was a fly half for f France. Yeah, 32 time French national team won the 1987 Five Nations with a Grand Slam. Okay, cool. I um, mean, yeah, so his father looks like he was a pretty good player. So that's cool. He had like a, yeah, yeah, his, yeah, his father was a pretty, yeah, pretty good player. That's, that's cool. Uh, club career, I usually don't go too much into the professional side of rugby uh, team wise. Um, but yeah, he played for, played for Clermont and then now he's on the Bordeaux Bigels. Bigels? Yeah. Let me know the pronunciation. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, if you've been watching my stuff, you know, I'm terrible with pronunciation. So, um, yeah, I, I should be better at French words because I did, um, I did take, uh, French, uh, in school for like a while, but, um, it's been a while. So, <laughs> uh, my sister's actually fluent in French though, which is, uh, kind of funny. Um, anyways, all right. Uh, Named to the international squad, uh, June 2017, and he was part of the French squad that won the 2022 Six Nations Championship. All right, awesome. He has, oh my, look how many tries he has. Jeez, okay. Usually when I see, like, lists of international tries on, on these pages, they're not very long. But yeah, that's a lot of tries. 36, okay. Jeez. They had a Grand Slam at the Six Nations, all right. And they won in uh, 20, 2016, 17. He won the top 14 uh, league. And the Ro European Rugby Challenge, which I, which one is this? What is the European Rugby Challenge? I think we have looked at this before. I just don't remember what it is. 18 team. Oh, okay, it's it's like, a, it's sort of like how they, they have it in soccer, right? Where it's like a bunch of leagues combine and play games. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, so that's that's good enough. Yeah, I'm expecting to see a lot of tries, a lot of, um, he's big. He's big, I'm assuming he's a winger, so he's fast, right? So he's probably big and fast, very powerful. Um, and I guess there'll be a lot of tries here that are assisted by DuPont, I'd assume. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it. All right, so the video we got today is from Andrew Ford, which is, uh, he's like our go-to guy for rugby stuff, so make sure to drop him a sub. Click on his video at least so he gets a view. All right, so this video is called Damien Pano being very good at rugby for 12 minutes. Yeah, I hope I've been pronouncing his name right, but I guess we'll find out like right now. Campbell is calling numbers down to this near side. Tafi Fanua, Jalibert wants to float it over for Damien Pano, who knows yeah, how Pano, to okay. from this other distance. Oh, nice, Pano. nice. Oh, Against Australia to take the lead late in the game. Nice. Oh, what a stop. And then he forearms him. Nice. 
Okay, is this against DuPont? I believe that's too loose, right? Nice, nice. And then a loose wild pass under pressure to James Ryan. But Penno, Penno, yeah, Ireland and things. Jeez, what a pass. Oh, we got a pack. Let's go. <laughs> Pressurized moment so far this season. Brilliant option to have. Big tackle goes in. Well, look at that. Damian Pino putting down a bit of a marker. Nice. What a teams are these? I didn't, what a hit that was by the French winger on the biggest player on the pitch. Onto that. Oh, I couldn't yeah, tell which teams that was it. Maybe that was his old team in the top 14. But what a pass. Yeah, this yellow team must be his, his old team before he switched to the new one. Jeez, what a try, yeah. The big, the big wingers are just like so powerful. It's crazy. Good pass. There's a good pass. Nice. Oh god! All the all the bench guys are on the sitting in the try zone. Ooh. Man, yeah. <laughs> One of our substitutes is on the pitch. Etienne Foucault and Peno is away. Oh man! What, what team is this that he's playing? Oh, Jap Japan. Okay. Goal line, go forward. Here we have the inches from the line. Johnny Hill. Oh, what a defensive play! What a defensive play! That's awesome. Ooh, those jerseys are really cool. Those must be old France jerseys. With the, they have like the, the stripes in from the flag. That's awesome. Nice, nice. Ooh. Didn't we already? Oh no, it's a different one. Okay, what a pass. Nice, nice. Oh, look at the speed. And the kick. Oh my god. And the bounce. That's wild. Not gonna lie, though, those jerseys are hideous. Bright yellow jerseys. Alright. France, Scotland. Nice. Oh, a little chip and chase. Nice. Wow. Wow. Yeah, those, I, those jerseys are so gross. <laughs> Sorry if you're a fan of this team. Yeah, it's gonna land in space on the turf. Makes Pino work. Oh, he's really far back. Okay, he's gonna go all the way. Wow, what a run! Okay, those are a bit nicer. Oh man, too easy. Ramos standing in its stead. Scotland again. Look he's so it. strong. Jeez. Oh, oh man. No way. Dude, what are they feeding these guys that are this big enough for us? He seems to use his, he kicks it a lot in this. Um, not just kicks, he like dribbles it like a, like he's playing soccer more than most guys I've seen. Highlight reel wise, at least. Usually, guys will try to pick it up as soon as they can, but he'll pick it an extra time. Nice. And look at What team is that? I can't tell who's playing. Hmm. <laughs> Good competition. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, he's flying. Jeez. Pill for that one from the rock. Go in the first. The clearers have done well now. This man advantage can be captured. Uh, the barbarians. With the intercept. Oh, he's on the. Oops. Yeah, England versus the barbarians. Okay, yeah, yeah. He was on the barbarians. That's cool. So he's the barbarians alone. Oh man. Dude, he's so fast. Look at how he's like completely broken away from them. Jeez, that was like the whole field. Uh -huh. I love when the bench players are in the are just sitting in the zone and waiting for them. Man, the French jerseys are so nice. I love the, the stripes for their flag on the on them. And Lopez flings it away. Now there's an excellent break Jeez, man. from Pano. So much pace, and Raka will finish that. God damn. Through into Mac and finding space out on the right already for Pano. Pano chipping forwards. Who's going to be the first one to get their hands Jeez, on it? Man. It may well be That's a crazy. Still there. Villar. 
Out it goes with a cross field kick. Is there too much on that one? Pen oh! No way. Did he get that down? I think he thinks he has. Yeah, he did. Right. Boom. Wow. There you go. Downward pressure. No That's crazy. The Heineken Champions Cup. France versus Wales. Quarterfinal. Is this the World Cup? No, no, that's, that's, that was Six Nations, I think. Yeah. Or no, wait, sorry. Was that World Cup? That must be World Cup. What is this logo? Is that for a, is that a W? It must be World Cup, because there's no quarterfinals in the... Yeah, there's no quarterfinals in Six Nations. It must be World Cup. Oh, what a jump. South Africa. Oh, nice. Dude, man, he's just so powerful. He's, he's running. Tamak fighting Medar. Lots of Frenchmen lined up to the right. And now there's trouble for Argentina as Peno is slipping through with oh. tackle, driving his way towards the line. Uh, what a run that is from Peno. Essentially keeping Richie Gray out of this wider squad. Oh, no. oh interception. And he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's going to be under the post for Damien Peno. <laughs> oh, another dude. A couple of really good turnovers there. Piri ballon pour Clermont et Ben Danone qui peut servir pour Oh là là, c'est le qui va sceller. Oh, il a qualification en demi. That's right at the end of the game, right? Yeah. Le petit cadeau. Little celebration to cement the win. Okay, some more barbarians. Nice, what a pass. Jeez. He, I love how he, he attacks the middle a lot. Usually, I feel like you usually see wingers go on the sides a lot, but he, he'll touch to the middle like a lot. Like right there. Look at that, he's going right up the middle. Yes, when you're that big, it's like... Yeah. Oh, there's DuPont with the, with the try. Oh. Yeah, man, he's like... Nice. Hmm. Yeah, there's DuPont again. Okay. I feel like we've actually seen more uh, Pano to DuPont tries than DuPont to Pano tries. Just kind of funny. Nice. England, France. Okay. This one's Six Nations. Yeah, this is Six Nations. Oh. Yeah, is, is that common? I feel like he's always in the middle of the field as a winger, which I, yeah, is that not. That can't be bad common, right? Maybe it is, but like yeah, he's in the middle again. And back in club colors, making a good carry. He's like a power forward in hockey. If there's any hockey fans watching this, he's just like huge. Just goes through everything. Oh, that was a sick dummy. Oh my God. Is this Six Nations again? Yeah. France, uh, is that? Oh, that was, oh, that was him defending it. Oh my god. What a defensive play. I got the colors mixed up there. Dude. Dude, he's so fast. Through the tackle, through the hole, support from Peno. A better kick kick here. Yeah, look, look at him go. Up. So sometimes you think, like, Sometimes big guys don't look fast because they're like bigger and they don't, they're not, their body isn't moving as their limbs don't move as fast as a small guy. But like he is just flying, like you can tell he's just going fast, even though he's huge. From Diaka and Curry, Lopez goes to the boots. Very nice. Hit the bounce. Pile of bodies. Ball over the top. Here's Peno again. Peno pins his ears back. Freeman to beat. Oh, what a has he scored? What a put down. Yeah, he got that. He got that. Andrea? Yep. I have a decision for you. Yep. Sorry. You may stick with your on-field decision. Try stands. The try yeah. stands. Yeah. Oh, is he mic'd up? 
It sounds like he's mic'd up. Like you could hear him like breathing. And look, there's that line break again. France scoring. Damian Pinot fending off Ali Price, breaking oh, the game man. up, stepping Jeez. off both feet. Wonderful athlete. It's crazy. Zebo, Eddie Barren looks for the long cross kick. It tests Pinot in the air. Oh, what a catch! Brilliant take. He's so good in the air. <laughs> There is one French headline from the opening half there. Paul Villem Sir has missed his first tackle at the championship. Here's Yannick Ben. Look at the space here for France. The floated pass out to Peno. And Peno could almost walk into the corner. Fiku looks ready. Peno's coming around. He's going to get the Oh, nice little set play. Yes. <laughs> Here's Pinot. France, England. He's got through one tackle. Ooh. The son of Alan Pinot. And it comes from Laidlaw. And they're trying to go wide, but it's in rather clumsy fashion. To Iava, massaging the space. Nice. And it's Peno. Marfana, Ramos. Oh, again. Ooh, the passing. It's simply magnificent. And then he's got the outside, yeah. Peno again. <laughs> Little half break from Hanran. JJ Hanran. Ball on the outside. Damien Peno. Chip and chase from Peno. It's a race for this one. Peno looking for a second try. Yes, yes. That is a king of beauty. Yeah. That's crazy. To allow Dante onto the field, who pops up his first receiver. Oh, no. Big steal. What team is that that they're playing against? I couldn't tell what team are they playing here. White and black is that? That's the All Blacks, is it? No. That's the only thing I can think of, though. That's that color. But they're usually or would black and blue be a clash? I don't know. Let me know what team this is. I can't. I can't think of who this is. So that was my reaction to Damien Pinot. Uh, appears I got the name right, which is great. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, usually that's not the case, so that's awesome. It seemed it seemed like I got it right. Um, but yeah, that was definitely one of the better players I've watched for sure, highlight wise at least. I don't know how good he is overall, but um, yeah, like the comments that compared him to Colby, I don't feel like that was a very um, maybe he more might just in terms of how good they are, but yeah, like stylistically, I didn't think they were that similar because obviously they're like what is that like 10 inches different in size so they're, they're definitely gonna have different play styles but yeah he was he was very very like a powerful like the, the huge wingers in rugby are so much fun to watch they're just like they're just tanks and yeah like I, I mentioned a few times he seemed to like always cut to the middle of the field which is always nice to see um he's not just kind of like outrunning people to the left or to the right he just goes he cuts to the middle more because he's, he's so big he can just like power through guys if he needs to um but yeah very exciting, very exciting player. Um, who who could I compare him to? What what was the guy? Um, the All Blacks legend, the the big winger. Um, yeah, jo Jonah Lomu. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, he kind of kind of reminds me of him, uh, with just with their size and like how fast they were and stuff. Um, not like a direct one to one comparison, but yeah, he had he had similar qualities. I feel like. Um, yeah, just really awesome to watch. Really awesome. Um, I guess. I don't think I feel like he would have said that in his Wikipedia, but I'm assuming he's not. Uh, he didn't switch to sevens for the Olympics this year in France. I think that's more just Dupont did that, and maybe a couple other guys, but mainly Dupont. Um, that's like a bit, bit of gold of Dupont's, I guess, to win an Olympic gold for them. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on him. Where do you guys think he ranks uh, winger wise in the world right now? Um, he definitely out of the wingers I've done that are like active. I definitely he's up there for sure. Like. He seems like he's just really, really good. And obviously France is one of the best teams. So yeah, it's crazy. Him and DuPont are, they, they both seem, they're both pretty flashy, him and DuPont. Um, really exciting to watch. Yeah, so yeah, we'll end it there. If there's any more French players to check out, let me know. Um, yeah, I haven't done too many non like All Blacks and uh, Springboks. So uh, yeah, definitely go check out more, more of the top players from other teams as we go along because yeah, I kind of, I kind of tapped out of there's still a bunch of guys obviously that are good to check out from spring box and all box but i've done the most of the big ones that people will request the most so yeah let me know let me know who on france or other other like european teams or even some of the other smaller teams that let me know if there's anyone worth checking out and also for the for the women's uh how, how good's the women uh how good's france's women's team uh let me know about that and if there's some if there's like a star player on their team let me know and we'll check it out um 
yeah we'll send it there thanks for watching make sure to join the discord if you're interested in that uh drop a sub drop a like comment your thoughts and all that good stuff um yeah there thanks for watching